All right, this is my first video on the Jetson Bolt Pro. So I have the uh, upgraded controller from JB Bike Parts. You can see there, it's a 48 volt uh, controller. And I purchased this, uh, I think it was a 1500 watt hub motor from uh, Alibaba. Uh, it says here 48 volt, 1500 watt, uh, 14 inch, which actually, um, like the diameter, I think is like 10 and a half, but it basically fits the stock tire or supposed to. Um, what I did just to test it is uh, I snipped the little harness that went to the stock motor uh, and then I pulled it out to make some space for the new wiring and then I fed the new wires in and then uh, I soldered or soldered soldered um, some bullet connectors that I had from some of my RC supplies and then was able to plug it into uh, the stock three wires I don't even know what these are called um, but the yellow green and blue uh, stock plugs which are basically these are the same as like rc's uh, if you're used to uh, dealing with brush motors um they usually have these plugs on them and then this is a harness that was on the motor oh, i'm sorry yeah uh, on the stock motor <clears throat> and i just snipped it and temporarily electrical taped it um color for color uh it doesn't match up here um to the uh for color for color uh, but this is how it was plugged in from the stock motor, so I figured it would work. Uh, next, I'll be showing the type of connection I use. I still haven't decided how I'm going to connect these permanently. I might just solder these on. That might be the easiest thing to do. And then just throw some heat shrink over it, call it a day. Um, but anyways, that's what I got so far. Um, and I will try and keep everyone updated. Thanks. So I just finished uh, wrapping these in electrical tape, the R soldered on, so the connection's good. And earlier I didn't have any heat shrink that'd be thin enough to wrap uh, tightly around these skinny wires. Uh, so to recap, I'm using the harness from uh, the stock motor that I snipped here. It was these here, if my camera can focus. There we go. I don't know what this is. Um, the new motor didn't have that loose wire on there. It just had these five. So hopefully it's nothing important. Maybe somebody who's watching this can enlighten me. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, taking this stuff off. But basically, I'm going to pull the cable through up to here and run it straight across so that I can finish installing this handlebar because uh, otherwise I'd have to do a whole new brake line and I'm hoping that by uh, just removing this little drop that it gives me enough slack to be able to use the same cable and not have to uh, change it out so I still have to figure out the front because it does seem like it's short but that'll be definitely uh, an easier uh, routing if I do have to get a new uh, brake line. So that's what I got so far. All right, so here's the test. Finish putting in, uh, this is the old stock Jetson Pro motor. Got the 48 volt, 1500 watt motor. I do have an issue where when I tighten this all the way, it binds up almost like it's restricting the freewheel or something. I don't know if I use the wrong washers. I use a combination of the stock and uh, some of the ones that came with it, but I'm not even tightening it too much, but if I tighten it with any kind of force, it binds up and doesn't want to spin. Get some life for you guys. Um, and then for all the hall sensor stuff, or is it? Here we go. Um, I have it soldered underneath, but I just wrapped it with uh, electrical tape because I didn't have any 
um, heat shrink that could shrink down to this thin of a wire because this stuff is pretty thin. Um, I don't know what gauge that is, but it's like razor thin. But anyways, I'm going to fire it up and see what it says. All right, let's give it a go. Is that spinning in the right direction? Yes. It's upside down, so it looks like it's going backwards, but that is the right direction. So let me go to the highest setting, see what we can produce in speed. Holy shit. Yeah, so it works. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be covering upgrading to a thousand watt controller, uh, as well as how I got over the binding issue with uh, the new motor and the stock freewheel, uh, basically by um, using a 16 tooth uh, freewheel. Um, if you're interested in this build and uh, buying any of the, the parts that I used, uh, check out the links below. Uh, if you guys have any questions, definitely throw some comments. I'm pretty quick to respond. Uh, if you're friends with me on the Facebook group, shoot me a direct message and I'll try to get back to you uh, through that as well. So stay tuned. Thanks.